what's up what's up what's up we are back for another fftv fftv magazine powered by ss studio track talk okay and today i got a real special interview okay for me i've been a fan for a long time matter of fact let me do it right let me look at my camera i've been a fan for a long time okay and when I want to, when I talk about the female spitters, when I talk about somebody who brings theatrics to the music, when I talk about somebody who brings passion to bars, Brie Biasi, what can I say? <laughs> hey y'all, it's Brie Biasi. Thank you so much. <laughs> That's all I can say about you. You know, all I can say about you is you bring the passion in the bars. Thank you. I do. I, I try. It's something about it, though, right? And it's very theatrical. And when I it met is. you, right, when I met you, you were kind of like chill, you know what I mean? So I was like, wait a minute. Right. I do be like that. <laughs> I'm kind of quiet. Like, I said it in uh, my song, Free Put. I said, coolest put. And they say I'm quiet when I'm not rapping. That's what I say. So, oh, that's just how I am. I don't know. Like, a lot of people say I talk soft, but I rap hard. It's that just, is a great explanation, actually. Right? <laughs> <laughs> That's cool, though. You know, because one thing I always like to tell you about people is you got to get to know people. Yeah. Right? What, what somebody might put out in their music might not always be what they doing in real life. Right. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. So... And I remember a certain quote. We ain't going to go back on what interview you said this on. Okay. But you was real passionately was like, look, I'm tired of everybody talking about the female rap and what they talk about. Right. And it not. Well, I'm, let me not put it in your words. Let me let you elaborate for a second. What you what were you speaking upon when when people were talking about kind of like the female music? Oh, how people always like judging women that about what, what they was. rap about. That is what They always it was. rap it about they cat and stuff like that. That is what. I it mean, was. I just feel like, you know, if you keep seeing it, you keep looking at it, you keep watching it, and indulging, it's gonna keep on popping up on your phone. So, like I said, you must have some type of fetish about it. If you constantly talking about something, then why are you constantly watching it? You know what I'm saying? You get a post like that, you don't like it, block it. Instagram has an algorithm. It's going to, like, kind of stop sending that stuff to your phone. You know? And guys rap about the same stuff all the time, too. <laughs> all the time. <laughs> so, yeah. Well, you know, it's always funny because I, I, I say that all the time, right? And I always talk about uh, just actors in general, right? You know, entertainment. Right. Whatever we see in the movies. We don't think when we see Denzel out in the street, he going to be the same guy he was on training day. <laughs> right. You know, so we still should be like that with artists. When we see them in real life, our artists also should just be our human beings. Yeah, for sure. You know, I think sometimes people take things and kind of run with it. Right. So it's good sometimes to say this publicly and to put it out there to where everybody can know up front. Like, look. How I rap is how I rap. Yeah, but I mean, like, what I what I be saying is real shit. But I just like I'm not finna walk up. What's up, nigga? You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't. That's not my approach. You know what I'm saying? I don't talk to my man like that. You know what I'm saying? So, but when that beat come out, it's just it's just that's just the delivery. You know what I'm saying? I do. I can get like that if they have to get like that. Then. If you have to meet that person, if you have to meet Beyonce face to face, that's a problem. And I'm just probably just going to have to go. That's real. And, and make a song about it. <laughs> that's real. That's real. That's real. Okay. So let's talk about some of your earliest moments, right? Let's, let's talk about uh, how you got to where you are. So let's talk about the very beginning. Mm -hmm. Where are you come from? Where are you from? Champaign, Urbana. That's Champaign, Illinois. With Champaign, Urbana, Illinois. Uh, that's where I'm from. It's about an hour and a half south of Chicago. So, you know, Midwest. You know, I heard of that. I think I heard of because the college is out there, right? Yeah, the U of I. Shout, shout out to the U of I. Well, Chris went to high school out there, too. He from there. You, you, you know what? I forgot about that. Chris love, love. 
He was rapping about that with that Omer. Um, Omer, did I say her name right? I probably did. I but don't know. I don't know. But he was rapping about that when he was uh, talking about that because they were trying to call him out uh, not about not being from Atlanta. Yeah, yeah. Right. So I'm not from Atlanta. So I want to talk about that for a second, right? Because I'm not from Atlanta. I'm from Raleigh, North Carolina. Okay, that's what's up. Right, right. My homegirl from there, right? Right, right, okay, right, okay. right, right. Shout out to Mila, the magician in the background. You yeah, feel me? So, but I've been in Atlanta about eight years now. And if you really go back, because uh, shout out to my artist, Preem, we first started about 2015, 2014, somewhere around there. So we've been, I've been in Atlanta, but I feel as if I'm not an Atlanta person. So what, what do you kind of feel about that? Not being from Atlanta, but doing music and really moving out here in Atlanta. Anywhere I fly to, I'm gonna get it popping. Mm. I can go to Houston tomorrow and I'm in y'all city. Mm. Cause like I have great personality. Uh, my, work et- my work ethic is amazing. And people who do good business like to do good business, and I do good business. So, like, I could go anywhere, and I'm gonna work. You're gonna see me. I just picked Atlanta, cause I didn't want to be in Chicago, so I picked Atlanta. And I said it in my song, flew down to Atlanta, got it busting like the strap was out. Put me in the game. You know that I ain't crapping out. You know what I'm saying? She so did. like, <laughs> like it's, it's, wherever I go, I'm gonna get it popping now. I can move out the country and I'll be doing shows and mic drops out there. So if you a worker going to work. So I'm, I'm, I'm like this. I'm in the air like this. As soon as I hit the ground, it's wherever I'm at, I'm gone. That's real. That's real. So what's your earliest point of music, your earliest thought process of music? Because what kind of got you into doing music? Oh, what got me into doing music was my big brother, Josh. So he used to rap his stuff in my mama basement. Shout out to Josh. Yeah. Um, and they had this old program, like Acid, I believe that was okay. what it's called. And um, the, he used to just make me press record while they go in there and rap. He's made me, so really, I started off engineering, not knowing what I was doing, <laughs> you know, until I started going in the closet myself and rapping. Because we was using the closet. You know how I go. So to you, you kind of, music been there for you. For sure. Yeah, it, it's nothing new. getting Because it's a lot of rappers right now. Yeah. Right. Because there's a lot of rappers right now that really don't come from music right like i know i know some folks that really just started rapping so when it come down to it i like to hear the artistry part right so i can really tell that now because when i listen to your music i get a lot of artistry you know what i mean and i can appreciate that more than anything so talk to me about some of the artistry part of your music right are you one who writes? Are you going to the studio and freestyling? Are you punching in? What's it What's it look like in the studio? Uh, most of the time, if I'm right, I'm ghostwriting for some of the girls. You know what I'm saying? I've ghost. I did a couple of songs for a guy rapper too, but if I'm if I'm writing, pinning stuff, I'm I'm probably nowhere near a microphone, and I I have to write it down because it's in my head right now mm. but other than that, i got a studio at home i just go in and press record mm, that's you know hard so like i just it really just be off the off the top that's hard yeah so dang you super aggressive in your music do you know you remind me of who that you remind me of a female meat meal okay meek i like meek i do because like i feel like whenever you jump on the mic mm. yeah it does give that but then y'all finna see a whole nother side of me with the R&B that I'm dropping. Cause it's getting cold outside. I'm get get y'all some few in your boo things, your little yeah yes. You know what I'm saying? So you you'll get to see Obrina. That's my real name. You'll okay. get to see her. Yeah. Well, I like so, that, right? Because we talked about. Yassi is that okay? Now you. What's funny about that is we talked about that. Right. We talked about that. So I'm kind of glad that you at first you was telling me, you know, what I mean, you didn't know which one you wanted to do. Now I'm feeling like the R&B. OK. Yeah. OK. Switch it up a little bit. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Now, have, have we heard or have we heard you do R&B before? Um, if you follow my if you follow me on Instagram, I've dropped some snippets and everybody love it. That's why I say I'm just finna go ahead and put a little project together. But it's it, see like the project that I'm putting together though, it's like more freaky R and B though. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So yeah, yeah. Well, as it got a couple of love songs on there. 
as a man, we love that. Yeah. We love that because I think that's kind of been missing. Of course. Right. The the the, the music game has really gone super melodic. Mm-hmm. So it's kind of taken over from uh, R&B and just kind of moved into like a, a, a melodic lane almost. Right. Yeah. So are you bringing the traditional heart R&B back or are you going more into the melodic uh, and, and what's what's going on right now? I think it's a mix of both. Okay. It's definitely a mix of both. It's a mix of both. Okay. It's a mix of both. Um, Cause I do got a couple old school references. Okay. So you know what I'm saying? Okay. On the track, whatever. I'm gonna owe some people some publishing, but it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> so what about influences? What were your influences coming up? Are they? Are we gonna hear this in the music, especially in the R&B side? Um. My influences as far as like just for my whole career or for the R&B project? Uh, music. Just, in, just yeah, for music? Yeah. Oh, I'm definitely inspired, influenced by people like Missy Elliott. Okay. And people like, even oh, I people see that. like Prince and Sade just, di- just standing out and trying to sound different and playing with my voice and all that stuff. Even like, I like Lil Jon, you know what I'm saying? I like Eminem. Eminem was very, I, you know, theatr- theatrical in his music. You know what I'm saying? So he used to get me so excited. He used to get me so excited. So like between Missy and Eminem and even watching Ludacris and the stand up video when he stuff it out. So like, yeah, just, just a, uh, if I could just name a few, I would feel uncomfortable, you know what I'm saying? Because right. there's so many, like, different genres, you know what I'm saying? I even like pink as a little girl, you know what I'm saying? That's fire. So, like, and even now, like, I like all the girls. I like Cardi, I like Nicki, you know what I'm saying? I like Meg, you know, I like Sexy Red, you know? It's just certain things about almost, you know, just anybody, you know what I'm saying, that does music and they do good music, and it's just like, okay, I like this about her, I like this about that, you know what I'm saying? So, um, I just say just keep an open mind as to, you know, keep it up with the sound, but also having your own take and sound included, you know what I'm saying? But you gotta stay on the way, you know what I'm saying? And create your own while you mix it. It's like a back and forth. You know what I'm saying? You dropping jewels right now. Yeah. You dropping jewels. I can't even say nothing to you. You dropping so many jewels. Okay, so what is the song that we're going to be doing the mic drop to today? Oh, we doing 100. 100? Yeah, it's called 100. 100. I like that. Where'd you get that title from? Oh, uh, really? It was just like a relationship issue. Okay. He's just like, nigga, keep it a honey. Keep it a honey. He's like, 99 times you done asked me for one more try. <laughs> 99 <laughs> times I done told you you got one more time. You know what I'm saying? Like, right. So um, that's where it came from. It was just like 100. And then it was just like all the aspects of just being 100, just a bunch of different things. You know, we didn't went through this 100 times. <laughs> we done talked about it 100 times, you know. Like you done had 100 tries if you include all the girls that was before me. How many times, how many tries do you really need as a man? Because all them women, how many tries you got from her? How many tries you got from the last two? You don't need too many with me, guys. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh uh-uh. uh. Your tries was with your last one. He don't get none with me. You grown. Right. I know that's right. I ain't, you hear me quiet over here. Yeah. <laughs> Act accordingly. <laughs> That's going to be dope. That's going to be dope. So I can't wait to get the mic dropped to that one. Okay, so before we get up out of here and head over there to the studio, get this photo shoot done and this mic drop done, tell the folks one thing that you would give as far as, far as some uh just just break it down to the, the new artists because today there's a lot of new artists, right? Okay. So break it down to the new artists on how to be important and how to stay relevant in today's game. Be you. Do you. I can't tell you. Stop taking advice from your friends. Stop asking people. Do Pop your game. Stop sitting on music. Stop waiting. This was not the old days anymore where you, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, have a rollout. Have your shit together. Schedule. But drop that shit. And by the time you drop one record, you need to be already ready to drop another one. Like, you know what I'm saying? Put it out there. See what catch. Don't, don't be too pressed. You know what I'm saying? Like, 
you see the people that's getting on, they're having fun. They just popping outside, getting in front of the camera, and they having fun. Facts. And you sit up there, oh, I can't shoot my video because I don't have a makeup artist. I don't mm. have a hairstylist. I don't mm. have a clothes put on. I don't have this. I don't have that. People are going viral off a of home video. Mm. So if you don't put your talent out there to the world, just do it. Just whatever on your mind. Just be you. You preach it. It's so many different types of artists. Can I, ain't no, if, if it was a rule book, you know how many people would be on and famous right now? Facts. Every day it's a new, it's a new, um, every day it's a new strategy. Everybody blow, it's, it's, somebody else then blew up from here. Somebody blew up off of this app. Somebody blew up doing covers. Somebody blew up being ratchet as hell. Somebody blew up acting like a drug dealer when they're not, you know? Somebody blew up holding money and diamonds and shit that ain't real. You get what I'm saying? So like, I can't tell you what to do. Somebody blew up do, doing a rap video from their bathroom. You could go viral on TikTok for that. So now they use TikTok, all you need is 16 seconds of a song. You don't even need the whole mm. hook. Mm. <laughs> you know, it could be two bars and you can go viral off that song. How do you deal with the trolls? Especially on internet, on the internet. Now, how do you deal with the trolls? Did, did, you said the trolls stay under the bridge. They do stay under the bridge. how you do the troll. I'm not under the bridge. With, huh? <laughs> I'm walking across. The, I'm on the top. I'm done. <laughs> Baby, look. What? They, that's what they at. I don't see them. That's I wish fact. I would be what? That's a fact. That's a fact. Make me a meme. I don't give a damn. I'm going to share it and laugh with you, honey. See, I'm the same way. I, I like, I wouldn't mind being a meme. You can meme me at any time. At any time, you can meme me. See, I really grew up in the hood. Like, we joned on each other. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, what? Y'all should have seen my teeth before I, I, I had braces. Like, I done heard it all, baby. You Facts. can't, can't, nothing. I don't get, what, what can you say? I like, swear. baby, huh? Nothing. I swear. I swear. Like, I, I'm not pressed. Yeah, I might step out. My outfit might not be your favorite outfit. My wig might be a little messed up because I ain't had no hairstylist that day. But guess what? I got the work done, and they love the video, and it helped me. Mm. And I got shit done. Mm -hmm. I don't be pressed about that stuff, baby. I'll be looking trash today and looking like hot fire tomorrow. I know that's right. And day after, I might look like a bum at home. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? I do. That's how I It's life. People going to talk, but them trolls still under the bridge. I know that's right. <laughs> so, well, I, I honestly am flattered, humbled, and thankful that you came through. Thank you for having blessed me. Blessed us with the interview. Thank you. Now we about to go bless this stage. You ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Let's do it, Fonzarelli. I'm out. I bet it cost you about a hundred K I done gave you my heart for free and I tried a hundred ways Soon as I turn to leave, you feed me a hundred cries yeah, yeah. You say you gon' keep it 100 this time Got a pocket full of blue face, hundreds I still feel incomplete 99 blue check, waiting for a message in the DM Still ain't the one I need Got a hundred missed calls from a cool guy who ain't did nothing at all He's perfect for 99 reasons, but he still got one flaw He still ain't you, she still ain't me, we still ain't through cause we but I know the deal Baby, you still ain't real 99 times you done asked me for one more try 99 times I done told you, boy, you got one more time A hundred times You said in my face you fed me A hundred lies Had to wipe my face to see through A hundred cries You had it your way, you ain't even wanna compromise I gave you a hundred tries A hundred times Two knocks on the door Don't know why I trust you After a hundred I love Brand new watch and I made it cost you about a hundred K I done gave you my heart for free and I tried a hundred ways Soon as I turn to leave you feed me a hundred cries yeah, yeah. You say you gon' keep it one hundred this time Got a pocket full of blue face hundreds I still feel incomplete 99 blue check Waiting for a message in the DM still ain't the one I need Got a hundred missed calls from a cool guy who ain't did nothing at all 
He's perfect for like nine reasons, but he still got one flaw He still ain't you, she still ain't me, we still ain't through Cause we in too deep, I'm still attached but I know the deal Baby, you still ain't real 99 times you done asked me for one more try 99 times I done told you, boy, you got one more time A hundred times You said in my face and you fed me A hundred lies Had to wipe my face to see through A hundred cries You had it your way, you ain't even wanna compromise I gave you a hundred tries A hundred times A hundred lies A hundred cries Compromise A hundred tries Keep it 100, just like I told ya Put in that work, that work Don't stop, don't stop, don't slow up Got a hundred thousand motherfuckers Wait for a little baby to 